How can we manage our children's anger in a safe way? I get asked often by teachers or parents who have got children who are very volatile um, and it can come out as big, angry and aggressive situations and they ask me how can we manage this? Um, and lots of the work that I do is around understanding what leads to those moments and preventing them. But actually it's really important that we don't ignore the anger itself. The first thing to understand about anger is that if we ignore it, then it will tend to come out in other ways. So we need not to teach our children not to be angry, but rather to try and recognise that anger and to talk about it if we can. But in terms of actually managing those angry outbursts, those aggressive moments, it can be really helpful to actually develop a set of rules with your child. Now, don't do this at a time of anger. You always have to have these conversations at a time of relative calm and plan for those difficult moments. And the rules will look different depending on your family or your classroom um, and the kind of outbursts that you're experiencing. But the kind of rules that often work well for people are, it's okay to be angry, but don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt other people. Don't hurt things. And then really importantly, do talk about it. So you might develop more rules, they might be a bit different, but it's about recognising how in those moments of aggression, of anger, can we keep that child um, safe and how can we keep the people around them and the things around them safe as well from those angry outbursts because nobody wants to deal with the fallout from this aggression, not the child, not us. So if in times of calm we can plan for those moments when things go completely off the scale, it can really, really help. Don't expect that you're gonna develop these rules and instantly everything's going to be better. But by talking about it, by giving it a name, by realising that these feelings, they're okay and validating them and talking about them is really helpful and finding other outlets for that anger too. And a really, really important thing to remember here is that when anger is listened to by someone, it's far less likely to be acted out. So try and encourage a more open dialogue with a child about the, the anger that they're feeling um, and trying to have those discussions earlier on or afterwards at a time of calm can really help us to manage that anger and it can help to get it out and if we're able to talk about it ahead of the outburst sometimes we're able to prevent the outburst altogether. So have a go, it'd be really interesting to hear what are the kind of anger rules that you think might work in your home um, or your classroom. Think about how you might communicate those, some people will find it really good to have a visual prompt and maybe to have that as a reminder um, at times of high stress um, and other people uh, will will find that simply having this conversation, putting those rules in place, is the beginning of much better dialogue around this and things begin to change. Good luck with it, let me know how you get on. If you've got questions about it, leave it in the comments below. And as ever, please subscribe. I am really keen to get as many people subscribed as possible and watching my new videos every Tuesday and Friday. So let me know what you'd like to see. Bye.